Person for ODOT says that they're going to have someone from the engineering department come out here and look at this section of the safety concerns that residents are talking about. They're also told me that it could take some time before something is done. So I'm always cringing, like, please don't let it be an accident. A Toledo woman says this new traffic pattern on burn between Airport Highway and Arlington may cause a serious accident if people don't pay attention. The concerned citizen didn't want to show her face but says she gets scared driving down this stretch of roadway. And a car is just coming down the center lane, of course they're going at a great speed because they're assuming that they can go straight. So they have to come to a complete, you know, stop in order from colliding with the car that's in front of them. Her concern is the new turning lane going south to get into an apartment complex. She recorded this video of cars driving north on burn using the center lane, which is against the law. She says she's seen one close call. Instead of, like I said, waiting with the flowing traffic, they get into the center lane and they just go straight up. ODOT spokesperson Kelsey Hoagland came out to look at the traffic flow. I do observe what you guys are seeing and what was witnessed in the video, and it's definitely something that we'll take back to the project team. One of the lanes going north to Airport Highway is still closed. Hoagland says one of the main intentions of the project was adding capacity in some of these turn lanes. She's urging drivers to pay attention to the signage, markings on the roadway, and other drivers. These are changes. There are a lot of new turns here at this intersection and in the intersection area. So that's extending beyond the actual focus of the intersection. But there are neighborhood residential areas that have had some turn lanes added to help make those movements safer for them. There are several signs posted telling drivers to stay in lane and expect delays. This woman says she would like to see more put up. Some type of signage or something that can be made differently um, to make people aware that they shouldn't go, you know, directly down the center lane. And there's one lane that's right down here that's still blocked off for the time being. ODOT says it will reopen in a few weeks. Lee, back to you.